everyone being excited about something and sort of passing that excitement out, it's like a ripple effect, right? And I think kids pick up on that. This is why we educate. Not only is the science accessible at all these different age levels, but it's also this once in a lifetime event. That's cool. We developed an Eclipse working group of teachers that span that whole age continuum and we came up with three different um, models that kids could make and then one all school model that all the students would use outside that really captured the size and the scale and the distance of the earth, the moon and the sun. One of the high school teachers, when they were started to think about how they were gonna approach it, said, oh, we'll set up sort of a kiosk. So the kiosk sort of evolved into probably stations. And I kind of think of each station as its own little kiosk, you know, where you learn about something about the eclipse that's developmentally appropriate. Someone came up with the idea of, what if kids figure out how old they'll be at the next eclipse? 65, oh my goodness. We got this math station going, and that was very exciting for the students. All these stations started building on each other, and the librarian got involved in helping kids do a read aloud on the eclipse, and so the kids practiced their accuracy and fluency reading. So all these, a lot of times we teach in these silos of now it's English language arts time, and now it's math time. It was like a tidal wave of everything could be connected to the eclipse. One thing that's nice about this is there are several different entry points. So you're kind of differentiating it for all your learners. I think there was a real push and pull, that a nice tension, I guess, between providing the teachers with what they needed and then also allowing them to do as much or as little as they wanted with them. Of course, this is an astronomical event that was handed to us, but there are lots of things that you could get excited about K through 12, and then you get the synergy of teachers across the K through 12 continuum throwing ideas in there. I can imagine historical events would be kind of a really good model that you could use this for. If there's anything happening within our community environmentally, that could be a way to incorporate this kind of learning where it's not a certain grade level, but more just like, what are some different ways to get the big concept? I think the eclipse is just awe-inspiring. So kids want to learn about it. Kids are hearing people talking about it. So finding those things that the general public is also garnering excitement about and then providing ways to educate our students about it is really what teaching is all about.